Hello everyone, Jim Hodges here, Elkie here. Elkie is my little long-haired German Shepherd pup that uh, I am using for the most part in this series. She is approximately 10 weeks of age now. All of the things that we're teaching, we're trying to make these to be the first time we're doing them. So we've allowed her to do some behaviors that we necessarily wouldn't be happy with but it's for your benefit to teach you what to do with the puppy so you can see real life, real time, how she's gonna react. If you watched my Basics 101, the introductory video, you're gonna see her getting a little bit full of herself. That's a puppy. And you're gonna see how we deal with it. One of the things that I'll be repeating it in the future, like in a few minutes, is we don't scream and yell. We don't get physical with our puppy because they are learning for the first time. And a lot of times, some of the things that they're doing that we don't like at an older stage in life are things that we created, okay? But to get back to play biting, that's the purpose of our video today. That's why she's in a crate right now because I tried to show on the introductory video some of the things I was doing and I've already gotten feedback that they would like to see a little more real life example of, of how I hold and do things. So let's back up a little bit. Play biting comes from a few different things, okay? One is, of course, she's got these teeth. She's growing and these teeth are sore and she needs to do something to exercise them, okay? And help them feel a little bit better. Two, our teeth, our dogs, if you watch dogs together at an older age with dogs that like each other, they're using it as a form of communication. I tell all of my clients that words are probably the lowest form of communication naturally than anything else with a dog. I believe touch is the uh, primary sense and biting is a primary sense, it's a primary form of touch. Now what we do do is, is when we're communicating with our dog through touch, through avoidance, through the different forms of motivation, we're gonna use words because we wanna teach them what our language means. Uh, everyone, I talk to a lot of people, they tell me when they had a puppy, they tell their puppy no, and that's gonna be something I'm gonna talk about in just a second. And that works for a little while. But before long, it moves right on into the puppy saying, okay, those are just words. That's just needless barking. That doesn't define me. And that's part of puppy and dog behavior. Realize I am going to show you how to start with that. It will work for a short time, but 98, 99% of you are going to have to go to a more physical form of uh, showing our dog a consequence, our puppy. That play biting, obedience, or anything else, bad behaviors are things that uh, they have to see for themselves that we are the leader. Because again, dogs communicate in that physical world. So puppies, teething, communication, play, uh, even to the point that they get crazy tired at the end of the day and they just start overreacting to everything and that biting starts take, taking more significance. These are things that are natural with a puppy. The first week or two, you know, I don't mind the soft because they're, they're leaving the family. I want them to feel a little bit comfortable. But as soon as the biting starts to hurt or starts to increase in frequency, it's time to stop it. Most trainers, and I'll even tell you that the very first thing that you would do is, is if she starts to bite, you tell her to, no, not screaming and yelling, but an excited or ah, okay? And just like with two puppies or two dogs playing, sometimes that yelp from the other dog causes them to interrupt the behavior, okay? So if you go, ah, or no, and she stops, good girl, Give her a quick little light pet, and then give her something to chew on, okay? I am not one of those that she's chewing on me and I substitute something else while she's chewing. I believe she needs to start to understand that the biting behavior is something we're no longer going to tolerate. And guess what? Once we say we're no longer going to tolerate, no excuses. It's forever no unless we teach it as a command later. So the very first thing that we do is we go, no, then the excited point, if uh, she stops, good girl, and we're good. If she doesn't stop, you could uh, actually have her in one of these little pins or with you here, 
have her tied up to a, a tree or a leg of a piece of furniture or something, and this is when you're working the behavior, and she starts to bite, you would go, no, and then you would get up and walk away for a minute or so. That is separation from the pack, and it is a form of motivation. I will use that, but I don't use that very often. Me, myself, okay? Same with the no. I'll start to teach the no, but it's light and calm, but I know that I'm gonna have to take the next step. So that's where we get to the third form of what we need to do. And before I go there, I never take my puppy bites or does any bad behavior do I automatically go and put her in the crate, okay? Uh, I don't mind her having a time out, but I don't want her to associate that her consequence is being put in the crate. So if you did use that, it would be a no, you would stop the behavior, I don't have time for it, wait 15 seconds, go put her in the crate and tell her good girl. But it is not a part of the actual consequence itself. All praise, all consequence, for our puppy and our dog to learn should happen in that moment of time, okay? Right then as it happens. The beautiful thing about a dog, if it happens once, it's gonna happen over and over again. You have to be ready for it. You can predict when this is gonna happen and you can start to ensue change. Another thing is, is doing this once a week is not gonna be enough to square it away. Repetition is what teaches our puppy what to do. As I mentioned in my video, I believe motivation takes two forms. Praise, praise is a combination of words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. As many of those things as I can do uh, in that moment of time. What is praise? When she obeys us. Praise is when she's laying there being a good girl. Atta girl, good girl. So I can't really give her a treat. I can touch her, tell her good girl, and give her that positive emotion and move on. So when I praise her, she said, okay, I'm being praised for chewing on this uh, rope toy and laying here. They learn in the moment what's going on. If she does something wrong, we provide consequence. The consequence is words, act, no. In fact, those are the only two words that I tell most people that they should have as a negative in their vocabulary. And no works, act, and no works fine for just about all things that we want to stop, okay? It'll be ant, no, and it will be touch. Whatever that touch is, it could be a tap of the collar, it could be what I'm gonna demonstrate here. It could be a, a tap on the shoulder, depending on where our puppy is and, and what they're doing. Another form of consequence is doing what I suggested earlier, getting up, ignoring, or walking away. But in the beginning, and for a long, long time, we do not just say no, because before long, it's gonna go in one ear and out the other. No should be accompanied with a physical form of consequence. The consequence is not designed to intimidate, dominate, break their spirit, hurt them, or have them fear you, okay? So it's a very, very light touch, at least in the beginning. And we have to be consistent, because that's how our dogs can understand. God, in his infinite wisdom, put dogs on earth as pack animals and in the pack is the leader to the least. They don't get that by playing cards or drawing straws. They do it by the consistency, the strength, and the physicality of who they are, and they rank themselves in the pack along those lines, okay? So I'm gonna slide up. My face is gonna be out of the picture, but uh, just say that this is my puppy, and she started nibbling on me, okay? We've already looked at the first two, first three, we allowed her the first week or two, then we started progressing to the point that we can't have this anymore, and it becomes the excited no or ow, and then she quits. We uh, tell her good girl, reward her with praise, and you already know what praise means. Uh, once that doesn't work, is no ow, and, we, and when we reward her, after we reward her, we can give her a toy or something to chew on and tell her good girl while she's chewing on it. Uh, the third version is no, out, and then get up and walk away from her and ignore her and separate her from the pack for a minute or two at the absolute most, okay? And then if she's being good, when you come back in, you praise and love her and do the things that you would do to reassure her. If she goes right back to bite on any of these things, you immediately go right back and do the same thing over and over and over again. Repetitions are what's going to teach her what needs to happen. 
Once we get to the point that that's not working anymore, and for the vast majority of you, that's gonna happen, okay? Keep in mind, we have a small puppy. What I normally like to do is puppy starts to chew, I take my left hand, if I'm right-handed, I take my left hand, I'll grab her collar, I will not jerk her by the neck, I'll grab her collar, I'll grab her scruff, and then I lightly, lightly put my hand over her muzzle and tell her no. The very first thing that she's gonna do is start to pull and fight with a lot of dogs, okay? That's why we have our left hand behind her head. We do not want her to pull away. If she pulls away in the pack, she won that contest, okay? So do your best, grab, no, very lightly. See how light, I call that a level one or a control. We're not trying to intimidate or dominate. If she's fighting, we hold on, and when she stops for just a second, good girl, and then we transition to praise. A lot of dogs, especially the more dominant dogs, as soon as I transition, they'll go right back to bite again. I'll go right back to grab the snout again at that level one level. Say, for example, I miss. She's got her mouth open. My thumb could go in under her tongue, and I hold that way, okay? Uh, it could go up above. I hold that way but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on very light pressure to begin with. Again, I call that level one. Now we need to do this a number of times for her to start to understand that we're changing the rules here. We're establishing who we are and we're gonna be in control. So it's eh, no, good girl, okay? Then we come back, good girl. If you noticed the video the other day, she kept coming back, why? Well, that's the first time I've bitten her for this. That's what I call a consequence, I bit her. That's the first time, and I was doing this. That's what I'm gonna do today. Will I go up? I don't know if I go up. If she starts to bite me, I will share that with you. But for the first day or two, uh, I'm usually like this, this really light level one. Now, say, for example, there is a caveat there. You can continue to do it like that for a little while, but if you let go and she keeps biting you, boom, she keeps biting you, boom, she keeps biting you, okay? She's telling you she's not gonna give up very easily, okay? And this is for a little puppy, eight to 10 to 12, 14 weeks of age. This is not for a bigger dog, at least in most instances, okay? So what's gonna happen is she's coming back. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a little harder. No. Okay, so I went from here to level two. Here, level two, level three, level four, okay? So we just take whatever in our mind is a level one and just hold a little bit tighter. We're not trying to squeeze the life out of her or anything else. We're just trying to exert control and let her know that we are in control and we're the leader. So I go to level two. And now we're gonna see what happens. Now that we've gone to level two, and this is true for any consequence that I'm talking about in uh, behavior, okay, and obedience. When I go to level two, I'm not going back to level one for 30 days. Why? Because if I go back to level one, she thinks there's still a battle to be won. If she makes me move up to level two, level two is my new base. My thing I wanna do is, eh, no, on level two, she calms down a little bit, I'm a pet her and love her, and I like to stick my hand back there around her. If she doesn't do it, good girl, and then we could even give her a little piece of a treat, okay? And then pet and love her, okay? Calm behavior. We don't wanna do this excited, and we actually do not want to start this when she's at that overtime, over uh, tired, uh, zoomy stage, if you will. We want to do this in the normal course of the day so she can start to understand what's going on. From number two, I go to number three. I truly, truly, truly don't think you're going to have to go high if you'll be consistent. You have to be consistent, okay? If you can't do this or you're not willing to do this, don't. She may grow out of it one day. Just be ready to be patient and don't mistreat her for that. And for the life of me, I'm not doing anything to mistreat my puppies or anybody else's puppy. This is how dogs communicate with each other. You are the one that can control what needs to be done, okay? So that's that. 
Now, when I do give her a treat, you remember I said praise is words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. This is a treat. I never give a puppy that much of a treat, okay? I usually get it real, real small, if you can see. You know, maybe a sixth, maybe an eighth of it. And I'm gonna put the treat back down, but pretend like I have it in my hand. So I've got her no, I've got the treat tucked right there in the back of my hand. In fact, I'm gonna use a bigger piece just so you can see, but I like to use the little one. No, and then when she stops, I might come in and give her the treat and pet and love and tell her how good in a positive emotion that I can. I may not even use to have the treat in my hand the first few times, I may not. That's the beautiful thing about dog training. You have to sort of see and pay attention to what's working, okay? I normally don't have a treat right off, but I'm using treats for good behaviors all along. Once she starts to get the idea, then I may bite her and give her a little treat on the back end. Then the real time I'm gonna give her a treat is when I'm sitting here and I'm running my hand like that and she's not doing it. Good girl. I always give a treat out of the cup of my hand, treat, and then I segue or move into praise, physical, okay? So she gets that association of words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. Oh, Elkie's getting crazy over here. I'm gonna go ahead and get her out and let's see what happens, okay? And we'll continue to work on this. And you're gonna see me do this in the ensuing videos because we're not gonna cure it today. One of the things she likes to do is grab my pants leg and I've been letting her do it till we can get it on video so I can show you what's gonna happen there. So I'm gonna put our little puppy dog out of the way. I've got her on a slip leash, okay? It doesn't matter what you want to use. You can put a little collar on her, a little martingale. I used a slip leash to begin with. I put it around her neck and I'll have that leash on her an awful lot if I don't want her to run away or if she starts to try to run away from me. Remember, if she does something once, she's going to do it over and over again. So if it's something you don't like, you need to control it and start to fix that behavior. Again, those are questions that you'll ask me if you have a question, okay? So I'm gonna come in, excuse me for putting my back to the video. I open up the crate, I slide my leash on over her. Good girl, let her come right on that. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna back up so I can get my whole frame of reference. You don't need that little puppy. So I don't know if you see what I'm doing. She started to pull and all I did was tap the leash back. I'm already teaching her that there's a control with the leash. And I'm gonna bring my treats right over here. I'm gonna let her be out. If she's anything like she was yesterday, she is gonna come right back over here and, and rip on, on this dog bed here in a minute. Right now she wants to get this little puppy. Good girl. That a girl, pet her, love her. Hopefully, now if I knew she was gonna bite me when I did that, I probably wouldn't do it, okay? Uh, the reason being is I don't want her to commit a crime. If I can get her to be nice to me when I pet and love, I much prefer that than to have to correct her all the time. Yes, we're gonna have to confront it, but I also like to build on success. One of my rules in life for dogs is we talk about motivation equals praise and consequence, that we find reasons to praise our dog or our puppy at least 20 times more during the day than we're gonna provide a consequence. We don't want to be a nag, we don't want to be boring. We want to be, Watch, no, very light, no, transition, no tree, good girl. And she's not, I'm not gonna stop her with that, but at least I can lay the groundwork for where we're going. Now she's over there, I'm gonna walk over here again. No, no, I don't know if you can see this. See, good girl. And as she's trying to bite me, my thumb is in her mouth. So I just went right to holding underneath her tongue, no. She doesn't like it, she wants to pull away. Ah, good girl. So she's gonna learn. I don't get angry, I don't get mad. Good girl. So why did I praise her? Because she's actually doing something I can deal with for now. I could reach down and pat her. If I wanted to, I could take this little treat. In fact, I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt her chewing. I'm much happier with that. 
If you want an idea of toys for uh, chewing, just uh, let me know down below or send me an email and give you some of the things that I use. You know, a lot of people like to take like uh, uh, cottage cheese or peanut butter and put them in Kongs and put them in the freezer, especially with teething. That's a great idea. There's all kinds of good recommendations online, but I don't mind giving you mine if you decide you want it. Good girl. So I praised her. I've just praised her twice. Why? I want her to know what she's doing makes me happy right now. Okay? We praise good. We consequence bad in the moment. So when I reached down and praised her, good girl, she's thinking, I'm doing something right. What am I doing right? I'm chewing, I'm laying down here, I'm not pulling on the leash. There's a lot of things that were right about that. But if she was uh, starting to bite me and I told her no, then she would understand that uh, her biting me is not something I like. She doesn't really know the word no for me. You may actually hear me say fooey. I said a while ago that uh, no and ant are the only negatives that I say we need for most dogs. I actually do German commands with my dogs, so fooey is a no with my dogs. Good girl. So now she no, 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 good, no. So she went right back to bite me again. She's saying, what the heck? You can't do that to me, but yes I can. No, no. Still that level one, real life. She's not screaming or anything. I know she's not happy. No. And I prefer when I can to put my hand completely over her muzzle. She's angry, but I'm not doing it any harder. No. Just quit. No. No. So you can see if she was four months old, how much harder this would be when we got to this phase. At four months old, I believe there's a whole different way to deal with it, because we get to four to five months, she's getting physically old enough to learn uh, what behaviors we like and not through obedience as well. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, at some point in time, I've lay started laying out the groundwork. At some point in time, probably either later today or tomorrow, I will start to buy. Now there's a, now, she started to do that, but I didn't catch her in time, so you notice I did nothing, okay? It's better to do nothing than to uh, bite in a moment that she wasn't actually doing something wrong. Me biting, me consequencing, okay? Good girl. I'm purposely trying to wait just uh, a little bit longer so that you can see what else is happening as far as the play biting? I can't get her to bite on me, so let's see what happens. And it's not because she doesn't want to, she's just better doing something else right now. Good girl. So again, no, no, very light. Hey, good girl. Add a girl, good girl. Good. So she's really been getting praise from me for a lot, no real consequence. But now she's starting, hopefully, to understand what praise is and will begin to understand what consequence is. She's grabbing my leash. If I didn't like that, that's a no. No. She's got it in her mouth. I didn't take it out first because I wanted to bite her immediately. Then I'll take it out. Good girl. No. No. Good. No. So you see, now we got a little fight. No, I'm actually glad this is happening. No. Good. So why would she be biting me if I was hurting her? She's not, wouldn't be. I'd probably intimidate, dominate, and that's a perfect way of making our dog uh, very sensitive and fearful as they get older. That's why we take it nice and easy. But we're not gonna let it go more than a day or two before we're gonna step it up. Good girl. Again. No. You come to me. No. I'm sorry, sweetheart. No. See, she's fighting. I'm not gonna let her go. Till she quits for just a second. Good. <laughs> yeah. No. 
No. And now people tell me, they, they call me and they're going crazy because they can't stop. See, it's not an overnight treatment. We have to work at it. Depending on the personality of the dog, this is a working line German Shepherd, is how much you'll have to push through. But push through. If you'll push through, you'll get there, okay? Again, if you have a question or a concern, I'm here to help. I'm not just making these videos for nothing. I want to give back a little bit. Just uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to help you. So I would probably do this for 15, 20 minutes if I had it. If I didn't have the time, it'd be five minutes. But I would try to do this multiple times a day. So I'll be doing this. It's the afternoon now. It's raining, or we would have been outside today. But uh, I will probably do this about every half hour or so the rest of the day, as long as I have time. No. I don't want you grabbing my leash. Not laying there chewing. When we're running, you can grab. And I'm still not grabbing her hard. See my hands? She just doesn't like it. And when she whines, you have to realize that you're not squeezing hard and don't let go. If I let go while she was whining, what's she going to do? She's going to whine the next time. She's not happy, but you see, I'm not holding her tight. Good. So now all the hate mail is going to come in, but I'm sorry, I'm showing you what it's like. So if I'm not the guy for you, I understand completely, but I'm the, the guy for her. I, why would she keep doing this if I was hurting her? No. Why? Because she is trying to establish who she is. That's what litter's do at the beginning. She's about ready to go, see? Good, this is what I was waiting on. No. Good. No, no. So I'm still at the level one. I'm not getting PO'd. You don't need to get PO'd either. Good. Bite it again, huh? No. So now my finger is in her mouth. No. Good. You have to win, good girl. If she wants to get up and walk away, I'll praise her. She had enough, I'm happy. Now she stopped. Here, yeah, take the ball and play with it. I don't mind to play with the ball, play with the rope, see how I'm transitioning, but I'm going to win that battle, and it's important you do. So you have to start this off, I would say, no later than 10 weeks of age, and maybe sooner, just depending on your situation and, and how you, you feel about it. Make sure she has plenty of things to chew on. You provide the consequence when necessary and see your way through. If you need to put on leather gloves, you put them on. I think at a young age, it's not going to really matter. Back over here, sweetheart. Atta girl. Good girl. Good girl. Like she really knows what I'm talking about when she got back on. I praised her. She knows I praised her, but she doesn't know why I did. Bite, bite. No. So if you go back and look at that, I created that by what? Trying to reassess the leash on her. Good. See, she wants to, she, see, she's a little pistol. No. So that was one of those where I couldn't get my hand around. I'm holding on. No, no, no. Trying to get her to stop fight. Good. Now I'll let go. Good. You want to try that? It's right there if you want. So at any time when, when you can't do this and you've had enough, win the battle. We've won the battle. Now pick her up and go put her in a crate, give her a little treat, crate, a treat and tell her good girl. And that's by putting her in a timeout without it being a consequence. No. 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 Good. So you're going to get to see if this is going to work going forward here, okay? No. And she may be in that little zoomy period. No. <laughs> she is. No. She grabbed the label. I just brought her out here so you can see again that I'm not biting hard. I can see it's... Okay, no. See, it's so important that she doesn't win. No. Good. 
So I could act, if you see how she's looking at my hand, I could see this being a purpose, uh, of, a possibility of going up to the next level sooner rather than later. I'm not gonna do it this time. All right, I hope that helps. We will see, we'll have a, another video where I've got her out and she's got the leash again. No, no. Getting frustrated because you see I'm not holding her hard. Good. No, no. Good. No. No. Good. Good girl. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm being a mean ogre or if you think you can understand how I'm trying to establish my position in the pack and show her her place in the pack without intimidating, dominating. Good girl. I would have been through a few minutes ago, but with her acting up, I do not want to turn the video off. I wanted you to see this. Okay. Good girl. Thank you so much. Take care.